Commissioner Conley. Thank you, Chair, and let me just start also by really thanking everyone who has participated in the process both today and taken time out of your uh, busy lives to serve on the uh, uh, steering committee as well. Uh, I will be voting no on the compact in its current form. And uh, let me make it clear that I'm very much hoping, whether it does go forward or not, that uh, the issues that have been raised are more robustly dealt with out in our communities in terms of town halls, uh, the right kind of outreach that does have to happen, um, which I would agree with um, has not happened today. Secondly, we're very much aware that um, many of these proposals likely will uh, be introduced in Sacramento as some form of legislation. Uh, I can also commit that, again, whether we go forward or not today, uh, we'll be fully engaged um, in uh, evaluating those proposals, uh, working with our communities. Uh, to make sure that any uh, product that comes forward ultimately uh, is one that moves uh, the dial on housing. Um, I think we all start from a, a common understanding, and that is that all of our communities are grappling with the issue of providing housing to our residents that is affordable at different income levels. I believe Marin is making progress through a variety of strategies, and we are seeing tangible results through an approach that emphasizes acquisition and preservation of affordable units, bolstering our housing trust fund, smaller infill projects for new construction, waiving fees for ADUs and JDUs, creating strong partnerships with landlords, including a landlord partnership program that has won both state and federal awards, and tenant protections, including outlying source of income discrimination, a mandatory mediation program for any rents over 5% in a given year, and most recently, uh, in fact this week, uh, passing a just cause ordinance. Going forward, uh, we're also very interested in pursuing creative ideas like converting existing buildings, including commercial space, in areas with intensity of jobs, into affordable housing. Uh, with that in mind, one thing that caught my attention is that currently 60% of the revenues are slated to be allocated to new housing construction, while only 20% is toward uh, preservation and 10% on tenant protections. I think the latter uh, percentages should be beefed up, particularly uh, I don't see a reason why we can't combine new production and preservation as one category, given that localities are going to be looking at flexibility uh, to create those new units uh, in one form or another. The CASA Compact contains some good ideas that I believe there could be broad consensus around, like reinstituting redevelopment funding toward housing, incentivizing the creation of ADUs and JDUs, and exploring ideas, I, I note it's no longer in the compact itself, but it's being uh, looked at concurrently, uh, some sort of infrastructure bank. However, there are significant problems with the approach of the compact, and I believe that Marin and many Bay Area residents, as we're hearing from all corners, have already signaled their opposition, including a new regional housing agency. This is a further step down the road toward regionalization and land use at the expense of local planning. While the compact states that the new regional agency would not be regulatory, the fact is that it would collect what are proposed as substantial new revenues and would be in charge of deciding how that new tax money is spent. We all learned in grade school that the power of the purse, i.e. who controls how money is dispersed, is how decisions work. Residents have made it clear that they do not want a top-down approach dictated by regional bureaucracies as to the future of our communities. 
and I agree. The compact also reconstitutes uh, versions of previously rejected legislative fixes such as SB 827, which would significantly hamstring local control and land use decisions. These efforts continue to be deal breakers for our residents, and again, is the key reason why, why I will be voting no. Again, I thank everyone and want to really emphasize uh, this needs to be a regional as well as a set of local discussions. We're going to look forward to continuing to be engaged. Um, I think there are a lot of creative, creative ideas out there. Uh, utilization of Section 8, uh, middle income housing, and we uh, very much appreciate the opportunity to continue to uh, engage in those discussions. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, again, I'm not sure about timing here, but 